Hello everybody, this is Greg29407, back with another episode of Astroneer. We're on the lovely arid planet of Kalidor. As you can see, I have my uh, my secondary base here. As I said, I was going to make a permanent base here, and I have uh, a shelter in place, and I have a research chamber, and the smelting furnace, and uh, the dirt thing, the soil centrifuge. And over here, I've got uh, uh, one of my RNG, RTGs, so I can always have power, and I've got all my printers and everything like that. Um, what, and I also did a landing pad. Now notice my spaceship's not here because I've been using the, uh, the teleportation from the big purples to uh, do all of my uh, traveling needs. And once you get uh, these things up on all the planets, you don't really need a spaceship unless, of course, you need to carry something from one planet to the next, which does not fill in your backpack. If that's the case, then you do need it. Um, now today, you know, we've got all these tunnels and, and this planet is rife with tunnels. They're huge. I haven't even been down here before. Look at all those, look how deep it goes. But um, we have three entrances. Uh, this is the main entrance we've been to. This entrance and that entrance, uh, I've got connected on a little little path under there. But underneath my base itself, I'm not sure if I've shown this on a, on a previous video. Uh, I'll go down, down there later on. Uh, but right underneath my base itself is another big tunnel. And this one is, uh, I, I think this is going to connect to the other two as well. And I started traveling through here, and it's really deep and really, it's just amazing. So I've got some, some tethers already hooked up down here. Uh, I haven't done much with it so far. So this connects to the other two tunnels uh, going that way. So I, I did uh, straighten this out a little bit, and I uh, made like a little walkway through here. And this is like at the first level. Um, and you can see, so it doesn't go very far, and here's, here's the... Uh, the opening to the main tunnel, and then the other one is right over there, and goes up. And uh, down here uh, is where the, the the main the next level was. But what I did was when I was over here coming through this 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 giant one over here, I said, I wonder if this connects at a, at a lower level, like down here. So I started coming down this way, and. Uh, it does connect, but it's a little hard to find. So I made this this crookedy, uh, massive walkway. Look at all those tunnels down there. Isn't that beautiful? And all the ones out there, it's just an amazing amount of stuff. So this is kind of crooked. I was just trying to, to get something that would lay out here. And uh, as you can see, I connected some, some uh, tethers down here. Because if you run this way, I kind of had to poke around here to try and find the entrance and, and find all the connections. Here is the the ramp up to the uh, the other two tunnels. So this is the connection. And if you remember, uh, when we were tunneling down here, uh, this goes down to another level, and this is how we got down to the center of the planet. So my thinking is that I would like to have all of this area, all of this whole area opened up and to make one giant bat cave. So we got this big ramp entrance down here, and we got the other one I just came down over here. It is one big open area, and uh, we can do all of our storage because even though my base is at the top of the, uh, right above here on the on the planet surface, um, if you went through this game's uh, pre-release, they had a lot of storms that would show up a, a occasionally on different planets. Some planets more storms than others, and they could kill you, so you'd have to hide inside your shelter. Um, they took those out of the game when they were released, but they are going to bring those back. So I started thinking that this planet may be one where it would be a lot of dust storms and that kind of thing. So maybe I would end, end up wanting to move my base underground. Well, this would be a cool underground base to have. So I'd have like a big mezzanine area up here where the three tunnels kind of come together, have that open, you know, all opened up. And then you'd come down the two grand staircases down to this level and have all this opened up. Now, I don't know, I haven't explored over there yet or those other uh, lower levels, but this whole area opened up into one. I think that'd be awesome. So what I'm going to do is build my own bat cave. And uh, what I've done so far is I have uh, built this terrain analyzer. And right now I haven't done anything with it. But what you do is you put this on here and you start digging up the kind of dirt that you want to, to uh, uh, the color dirt that you want to uh, use and what will happen is uh, when that thing is filled up with like I want to, I want this orange color I want this whole floor to be orange 
uh, what will happen is um, when you uh, put that on there, then anytime you, you raise the ground or create dirt, then instead of being that gray color, it'll be the color of your terrain analyzer. In this case, it'd be an orange. So I could get all orange floor and, you know, these, these lighter orange color walls and stuff. And I think that'd be kind of awesome. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start digging stuff out and try and get my floor all laid out. But first I need to uh, uh, have the ability to have this orange color. Woo. So I'm going to have to dig up some of this nice smooth floor. So I think I'll dig up over here. Woo. It won't matter as much. Oh, this may take a while because I don't have my... <laughs> I can't eat anything. Let's put this thing back on. Orange. I think that's it. I think that's it. Let's see. You see that the, the stripe is orange now? Let's see here. See the thing is orange now? Let's see. Oh, we're gonna have power. Oh. Okay, hang on. Let's get some power. Let's fill this hole right here. Let's see what happens. Ooh, look at that. It does. It works. Okay. So now anytime I do any kind of uh, building up, I'm going to get that orange color as long as this thing's on there, which is what I want. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to start leveling up this floor. and you figure out the, the right level for the floor to be because there's a bunch of different levels it looks like. And uh, what will be the, the ground level. And, of course, I'm going to have to do some, uh, there'll be some bumps in the road because of... Uh, uh, curvature and stuff. I'm going to dig out this whole wall here. Um, so I don't want that there. Um, but yeah, so this is going to take a little bit of time and effort. But I'm going to have my own bat cave. So uh, I'm going to start to work. And uh, here is the the first staircase here. This, this is one, the, the one that we'll use is our uh, uh, going back and forth. This is the main grand staircase. So um, I'm going to start working. I think this will be the first level here, right here. And uh, let's see what happens if I do this. Make that. Okay, uh, I have to do this. No, that's not right. I think I have to. I can paint this by using the uh, in inhibitor thing. Um, so I, I'll, I'll test that. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, I've been at it for a few minutes now, and uh, here's our our main staircase, and uh, there's our tunnel going down. Notice that this is a lot smoother now. I kind of level this up. And uh, straight ahead here is where that giant column of a uh, of, uh, wall was, is a, is a round thing. And that is all, all gone. You can kind of see the, the remnants of it up here. Um, remember that the tethers went between the, the big thing of dirt here and this one over here. And now it's kind of wide open. I haven't flattened this floor out completely yet. And straight ahead is that other ramp that we have. So this is all wide and opened up. So what I'd like to do is, um, and I've been uh, using the inhibitor. What I did find, though, here, here's something interesting. When you're digging stuff out and you have your terrain analyzer on here, even though I have my, my drill model on here, let me show what happens when you want to drill something, when you want to dig something out with that on there. It doesn't really dig anything out. It's not doing anything. So for digging, you have to actually take this off then you dig like normal. So you can only put this uh, terrain analyzer thing, uh, your terrain analyzer, on when you're trying to lay down floor and stuff. Now, there is a way of, of, of covering this up, this, this gray and painting over this, but I think I have to use an inhibitor uh, mod, which I have not created yet. I need a piece of zinc for that. And unfortunately, I don't have any zinc on this planet, so I'm going to have to hop over. Um, so this is, the, this is the other staircase that we have. So as you can see, it kind of connects straight on over. So this is a, a nice start. We follow this right over here to the other staircase. I'm actually going to grab this, take it with me. Oops. That's the way down to the center of the planet if we want to walk down there. Let's go back up here. Back up to our base. 
I'll do some more work on this stuff too. Uh, this is the mezzanine level. I call it that because uh, that's the entrance to, that's the, the way to the one other entrance. And then that's the way to the other entrance. So I think I'm gonna open all of this up so it can, uh, has a view down to this down here. And then we go up to the top side. So yeah, we're making some progress. I'm gonna have to get some more zinc though. I want to be able to 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 um, color the uh, the floor, but I'm going to do that last. I think I don't want to do that right now because that's a pain in the neck to go all the way over there. But what I am going to do is going to go ahead and get some more research. Now, in terms of research, we're in really good shape here because uh, as I've been doing all these other planets, I'll show you, we have 157,000 bytes, um, and I can actually open up everything we have in here if we want to. But, 1200. We'll go ahead and do that. So eventually we'll have everything all colored and stuff very nicely. Um, all right, so I'm going to get back to uh, digging. Let's, uh, I want to cut down. I don't want to have too many tethers everywhere. Because there is a there is some type of soft, at least a, it's a soft uh, cap for number of tethers you can have. They said there's, there's not, but... Realistically, I think there is. I don't want to have too many up here. And eventually, I'm going to have this this grand staircase, uh, I think, straight a little, a little straighter. And I also want to curve it over this way, so it kind of goes towards the other staircase, so it's, it's kind of uh, opens to the same area. So I'm going to have it. I'm going to have this wall removed. I think. And have it wrap around so it faces the other staircase which is right over here so more work to do but we will be back in just a few minutes okay here we are there our main grand stairs again and i've been hard at work uh the last uh, about hour or so and uh, as you can see we have uh this really leveled out and flattened out pretty well i, I cut into this wall over here and notice right over here, this is the uh, the original grand staircase I had had over here. Uh, it's now cut off. I have now redone this over this way. I get rid of uh, this eventually. And I cut a new staircase. It's a little flatter. I mean, in terms of uh, not it's, it's angled a little bit to the side, but not too much. And I've got this all straightened out now. So it takes you right on up and out that way. And then if I want to go along here, a lot of good resin in there. Um, again, this is my mezzanine level. I'm going to eventually open up all these walls, all these walls over here. So we'll have a nice view down below. Again, this is the main area that we have. Got to do a little bit of work on here. And here's our grand staircase. So I just went in a row, in a, in a, in a circle. And uh, so yeah, I've got a lot more stuff to do, but that's where we're at. So I'm going to continue to uh, work on this section over here, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, I've been working on that ca in, uh, down in my caves. It looks really, really good. I have decided to make another shelter, just like this one, downstairs in the cave. Uh, now what I can do is use extenders. So any kind of uh, stuff I put down there in the cave, uh, the extenders will work. But... It's a really long um, set of extenders I'd have to do. I, I did some, I did a whole series of these extenders and it looks kind of junky and stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna build a whole new shelter down in the bottom. So in order to do this, let me put this over here. Let me get my 3D printer, the large 3D printer. Here, and what I've done is I've, I went back to uh, Silva. I teleported over there and got the stuff I'm going to need to create the shelter. The silico two silicone and two plastic. Let's make this thing. And I'll take this downstairs into my gigantic room I've got and uh, and I'm uh, get everything set up for it. I think it'll look pretty cool. Um, I've been making some work lights because, again, uh, the good thing about Calidor is it's the pocket for copper. 
So I've been making a lot of work lights that I can use, and uh, I can light up my entire uh, cave down there. So I can put all these lights around there, and it may look a little junky for a while, but I think it'll look really nice eventually when get it all set up. But uh, by having this down there, I'll have a base up here, and I'll have a base down there, and uh, you know they, they start up some, some storms again. That'll be perfect. If they don't, i still got a nice base downstairs. Um, there's a huge amount of resources down there. Copper and uh, aluminum and quartz and just amazing amounts of stuff. So I can use that as my main base for uh, uh, going in, in and out of down there. I'll do another smelter down there, of course. Um, probably another one of these um, research things. I found this research item that was packed up, but I got a couple of tungsten. and I opened up the research thing that's over here. It has one of those space things, so it's uh, like 2,500 in, in resources, which is pretty good. So we're just gonna make all this. Um, again, I was just gonna put these extenders down here. Let me show you. I made a nice little ramp to get down here. I started, but, but you know, that looks kinda, uh, I don't know, it looks kinda junky. It'll work, but it's not very attractive. You know, it looks kinda, I don't know. Um, I got down this far, I said, I don't wanna do that. It looks kinda stupid. Uh, so I think, uh, and we're only like not even halfway down there yet. So I think that just having another base down there makes a lot of sense, another shelter. And plus, um, I kept forgetting, I worked on this thing for like two hours and I completely forgot to save. And I was down in the, down in the cave and I went, oh, I better save. And I was scared to death before I made it up to the top that, uh, that the game was going to mess up, it was going to shut down, and I was going to lose all my progress. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. So, uh, so having a shelter down there, they'll help out for the saves as well. <laughs> so this takes a little bit to uh, to run. Good thing I got my RTG over here. And um, I found this other. Oh yeah, I got some uh, other stuff I got put up there too. Let me um, put these things back in my backpack. Oh yeah, I want to make that too. Put these canisters back on here. It's back on here. All right, that's a big box. Let's take this sucker downstairs. Can't carry it either. It's gonna be a long walk, but uh, let's see. All right, we'll be back in just a few minutes then. I think I found a new way of getting this thing down here fast. I'm just gonna let it roll. <laughs> just roll all the way down there. It's, it's indestructible. Roll. <laughs> it is a long way down here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Go grab it. Oh, there's a oh, oh, there's some pits down here. All right, well, at least it didn't go down to the pit. I didn't think about that. Oops, that would have been bad. All right, I think I want to put this down by the um, the other entrance, closer to the other entrance, maybe kind of in the middle. Yeah, let's do it. Here's some of the work lights I've got set up over here. All right, let's see. So here is one staircase with the cave going down there. Here's the other staircase. Other staircase. I could put over here. That may be better. Yeah, even better. Let's take this put over here. Uh, 
let's see, reverse that. That way, it's right. Here's one staircase. The other one. It's just over here. That's just something else. All right, so let's see here. Is that the front door? Yeah. All right, let's open it up. Perfect. Woo, look at that. It shows me how uneven some of my land was. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Alrighty, let's see here. All right, let me go get some lights. Oh, I got that thing filled up, don't I? Oh, I got that filled up too. Yikes. All right. All right, let's see. Eventually, we'll have a lot of other stuff down here. In the meantime. Turn this around a little bit. Yeah, see, I can get a bunch of lights down here and kind of go all the way around, maybe in the walls or something, all the way around here. I think it would look really cool. Let's see. There instead. Yeah, all right. How far did that cable go? Not that far. I'm trying to turn the The plugs will match up, but it's not quite right. Ah! Ah! Do something like that, and then we can kind of loop around over the other side, too. spinning around. It's weird. Ah, come on. Come on, plug. Some whole uh, whole set of lights and everything, all the way around. Could just kind of uh, like the main circle, like from this staircase around here, and from here, right around, around over this way to here, and then maybe like around this way to right right there, and have this whole circle thing as as a base, and that can eventually put other stuff down here too. I think it'll look cool. And I could get you know, do a whole other base down here and everything. It'd be really neat. It's got all the auction stuff. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, um, this is my bat cave, and uh, we got a grand staircase over here. We got a grand staircase over here. We got those mezzanine level things connecting up here, and then uh, three exits to get back to right around my base. And uh, I think it looks awesome. And what I may also do is I can also do like create a new tunnel near Big Purple that comes down here too and just kind of ties in so I can go around that way too. Anyway, a lot of different things we can try. It's a lot of fun. Um, anyway, you start to get a little creative and doing some crazy stuff and stuff and things like that. 
I'm doing that on Kalidor because this is my favorite planet. And uh, this is a lot of fun. A good way to, to spend a, a lazy afternoon. I almost forgot. Um, you know, we were talking about getting the floor to look all the same and everything. I've got some, some, some colors here. Uh, so what I did was I also uh, created this inhibitor mod. And the inhibitor mod prevents uh, terrain deformation. So if you have that on here with the terrain analyzer, and I've got this drill mod as well, uh, I'm going to hit the Alt button to raise it up. And I'm going to go over this, and look at that. It colors it. The do It's doing the color that I want it to be. Yeah, it runs out of power. But, uh, but yeah, so I got, I got my color that I wanted. Now, let's see. I do want to... Uh, so yeah, um, I did have a little bit of a problem with the, um, I'm trying to level the, the train out. As you can see, it's not, of course, flat. Uh, so I've got a bit of a hill over here, because uh, that's flat, but you know, because of the curvature and stuff, it's got a bit of a, it's a little bit off. So, um, so this is even, but that's not. So I'm not sure if I'm just going to leave it that way or what, but I wanted to show how, the, how to, to recolor the terrain stuff. So let me, let's try another area here. Just to see what it looks like. Let's see if we can find a spot where it's not colored. The right color. Ah, I may not find some. Alright. There we go. So it changes the color to, to the color that I've got matched on my terrain analyzer. So there we go. I can get that orange color on anything. I just hold the alt button down so it looks like it's going to raise and then do that and that's what it's, yeah, it comes up with so that was the uh that was the other thing i wanted to go over today so that's it so uh let's, let's take a look at uh, the base again because it looks so neat all righty so there's my uh, base there's the the main staircase right over there's the secondary stair uh, grand staircase and here's my base I've laid out all my uh, the lights I've got so far. I think that looks okay. I don't know. I could go farther out. You know, we, we can extend this as far as we need to go. You know, eventually get covering. Here we go. Let's, let's cover this up. Oh, hit the wrong button. There we go. Look at that. All right. Good. You're good. Um, so yeah, we, we can go. We can do those lights as far as we want to go. As, but you know, it just costs more copper. Uh oh, and the lights went out. Ooh, that was weird. I wonder why the lights went out like that. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Oh, you know, I don't have the RTG attached down here. Ah, that's why. Yeah, the RTG is upstairs. Okay, that was why. So, maybe I'll move the RTG down here eventually, too, when I move all my other stuff down. Or I can create a second one, too. Anyway, that's going to do it. So, until next time, this is Greg29407 saying sayonara. And we will see you next time.